have made it to the pond I'm gonna be fishing this morning. And one thing I realized like a couple weeks ago is I have zero buzz baits in my arsenal altogether. Then I immediately went out and bought a couple buzz baits at Bass Pro Shops. And that is what I'm gonna be throwing this morning. I bought two buzz baits. I bought this straight black one. And then I also bought this white one here. Both of the same brand. They're both the Booyah buzz baits. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't have much faith in buzz baits. No, they do pretty well. And for the scenario I'm looking at right now, I think it's gonna be good. It's early morning, it's six o'clock in the morning right now, and this pond is shallow and very weedy. So I'm kind of hoping with the loud buzz of the buzz bait, I'll be able to draw some fish up and out of those weeds. And as a trailer, I'm gonna be putting a rage swimmer on the back of it. I believe these are three and a half inches three and three quarter inch. I'm gonna be adding a trailer hook as well. And last time I went fishing, my mic kind of was buzzing the whole time. So I don't know if that was a loose connection on my part or something got wet, but I'm hoping my GoPro's mic works fine this morning. And one more thing before I start fishing, just because of the way this pond is set up, the only access I have is facing directly towards the sun in the morning. It's not like I can just go to the opposite side of the pond and have the sun to my back, because I just don't have any access to that pond. And I got this buzzbait tied to 65 pound braid to a once medium heavy rod but the tip snapped off of it, so it's more of like a heavy rod. Oh. And like I say in the majority of my bank fishing videos, I'm super glad I brought my waders. In my opinion, waders are just as important to a bank fisherman as a motorist to somebody who fishes off of a boat. If I catch something on this, they're gonna hammer it. I mean, they really don't have much choice how fast I'm buzzing it across the surface. Got him. Bass. Oh, falling off the log I'm standing on. All right, I'll take that. But uh, that's why I use one of my cheapest rods. I don't really care if it gets wet, but first fish, not a very big one. Probably about a pound and a quarter, but I'll take that. There's a squirrel that keeps dropping nuts on me. There's that squirrel again. Another bass. All right, not very big. Still probably about a pound.
And that's a hole. There's one. To get the shallow water here. So I'm about halfway around this pond now, and I've only had those three fish to show for. Actually, my GoPro died like the second I caught that third fish, and and so far so good with the buzz bait. I haven't had any issues with it so far. After I took off the trailer I had on it, this actually is a little bit easier to float on top of the surface. And this whole combo costs $29. I got this reel on sale for $25, and then I got this Shimano Celis on sale for $4. The reason why it was $4 was because the eyelet was broken off at Dick's, so they marked it down for $4, and all I did was buy an extra set of eyelets and glued a new eyelet on. It's basically a brand new Shimano Celis until I broke the tip off of it. <laughs> but I also have an $800 combo, but you really don't need an $800 combo to catch some bass. Like I said, $29 is all you need if you look for sales. little guy real little guy this guy's gonna be a uh, future five pounder in big baits like that oh oh god I almost died Ugh. So I'm moving on to the last spot today. Hopefully I can catch a good sized fish. I've caught nothing but one pounders today. Made it to the stream. a nice bass. That is what I want. A fish of this caliber on the buzz bait. He gets a clean release. There you go bud. Oh yes, oh yes. Just gotta keep tension on him. I don't know if he's big or not. Pulled really hard. That's a good bass.
All right. <laughs> I think I hit my camera there a couple times. Sorry about that, but not a bad bass. Getting bigger. That's what I like about these waders as well as I can just release them nice and easy. And he just soaked my sleeve. Well, that is it for this morning and for only being out here for a few hours and ne like never throwing the buzz bait before, I thought I did pretty good today. I started off kind of slow, catching those few small fish in the first two hours I was here and then nothing after that. And it wasn't until I moved to the stream where it led into the pond where I ended up catching the nicer fish but that's not really a surprise, honestly, because this water is so much cooler than the actual pond water. So fish would be towards the mouth of the stream. It just kind of makes sense. And overall, the Booyah Buzzbait actually worked pretty well today. I have no complaints about it, though I really don't have anything to compare it to. The only thing that I noticed is that I do have to kind of give it like a jerk head start, and then it'll stay on the top of the surface no problem. I just wonder if I spend like twice as much money, maybe like that buzz bait, I won't have to kind of jump start it and the second it hits the water, I can just start reeling slowly. I don't really know because I don't really buzz bait fish that much. If you guys have any suggestions on what company has the best buzz bait, just let me know and I'll honestly, I'll probably end up picking one up and I come up with videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace.